by four equals four. It must be four o'clock. Yes, it's wipeout time. And here's the host of the show. Let's hear it for Tony Johnston. Divided by four makes four. Four by four makes 16. One plus one plus one makes three. And three new players. Welcome to the show, by the way. Troy, who do we have? Mr. T. Very good arithmetic there. First of all, let's clap and scream for Jesse Jolly and KJ. Then this girl likes funny things. Her noise, her boyfriend. And lasagna. It's Maxine Simon. Hi, Max. And completing the trio for this Thursday is a guy who's been school captain. Wants to be Aussie cricket captain, Ryan Rock. How's Mudgee Creek going, Ryan? Uh, good. We've had some good contestants in from Mudgee Creek this week. Uh, you going to have a good time on the show this afternoon? Yep. You wanted to talk about cricket and television. What can you tell us? Um, I'm a bowler. Yeah. And... Obviously love playing cricket. Yeah. Like watching cricket as well? Yep. So that takes care of the TV side of things. Yep. As well as you being on the show this afternoon. Yep. Excellent. Good, <laughs> good luck on the wipeout. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Did Luke and, and some of the other players from Mudgee Creek give you a few tips and stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's the way. Maxine's in the middle. How are you, Maxine? Good, thanks. I'm going to spring this one on Maxine. She doesn't know I'm going to talk about this, but I've heard all about this holiday to Noosa Heads where something very special happened. <laughs> Tell us about the holiday where you met your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're on national telly right now. <laughs> Would you, what are you laughing at, Jess? I'll be getting to you in a moment, mate. Right? <laughs> I'll be talking about Jessie's girl. No, no. How's, the, how's the romance progressing? No. Hey? Uh, nothing. Hey? No. He's, he's good looking, isn't he? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Listen, good luck on the show today. Love those little butterfly clips. Too. Mm. They're excellent. They sort of move when you... Did your boyfriend give you those? No, no. <laughs> Jessie's down the end. How are you, Jess? Hello. Now it's time to give you a hard time. Uh, how's life treating you at the moment? Oh, pretty good. You've, you've got some interesting theories on life and how you can make lots of money because your mm. uncle is apparently doing very well with the internet and a few other things. Yeah. What, what is that interesting theory, Jesse, that you have? Well, teachers always say if you don't listen, yeah. you'll never make it in, yeah. in the real, real world. Yeah. He did not listen, not once, yeah. and now owns his own DJ company and internet company. And he makes lots of money. Yep. But it's still a good idea to listen, isn't it? <laughs> good luck on the show this afternoon, because if you don't listen, you won't score any points. We wish all of our players the best of luck, and now let's do it. Let's play Wipeout. <laughs> Jess, we, we might have to give your uncle a bit of a call and get some tips from him. I've got some good news for you, Jess. You have won the chance to control our first grid. Let's hear it for Jesse. <laughs> the title now of our first grid on today's show is... Scoop pictures inside. Okay, what are we talking about? Australian magazines is what we'd like. So let's go to the game board now for our 16 possibilities. Up there, up there, up there on the game board. All the correct answers are up there. Jess, you've just got to find them. Now stop trying to chat Maxine up over there. I'm not. What would you like? Australian magazines. Australian Women's Weekly. The Australian Women's Weekly. Is that your favourite one, Jess? No. <laughs> let's take a look. Top left-hand corner. Is that a correct answer? Yes, with scoop pictures inside. A lot of these Jess, we could finish the show right now and you would have won. Maxine, to you. Um, can I have new idea? New idea on the far column, second one down. New idea, is that a correct answer? Maxine's got a good idea. With new idea, 25 points for you, Maxine. Well done. Okay, Ryan. Um, can I have Woman's Day, please? We're going for Woman's Day on the top line. The second one along, is that an Australian magazine? Yes, it is. Three correct answers so far, one for each of our players. All of you on 25 points. Jess, did you know that Australians are amongst the largest consumers and readers of magazines in the world? No, I didn't. Well, your uncle would have known that. <laughs> what would you like? TV Week. We're going for TV Week on the first column, the third one down, talking before about television and cricket. What do we have with TV Week? Spot on. TV Week. TV Week uh, Logie Awards each year. Okay, Jess is up to 50 points. Maxine, to you. Um, Who Weekly. We're going for Who Weekly on the far column. Just below a new idea that we had before. Can we find a big tick, do you think? Yeah. Gee, you'd think it was the grand final or something in the audience there this afternoon, right? Um, could I have Dolly, please? Going for Dolly, top line. Third one along. Right, I'm not so sure about this one. Let's take a look at Dolly. Is that a correct answer? Yes. Good on you, Ryan. 25 points, take back to 50. Ryan, uh, do you like reading Dolly magazine yourself? No. No, you've just heard about it, of course, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, play now passes for Jesse. Jesse, we are halfway through the round. Still four wipeouts up there somewhere. What would you like, champ? Better homes and gardens, please. We're going for better homes and gardens on the third column, uh, second column there, sorry. The third one down. Is better homes and gardens a correct answer? 
Yes, from Murdoch Magazine. And also TV show of the same name on Tuesday nights. Just before the great outdoors, Maxine. Can I have Fishing World? We're going for Fishing World on the bottom right-hand corner. Now we're talking. Now we're getting into some of my magazines. Let's take a look at Fishing World. Is that the correct answer? Yes, Fishing World is right. Maxine, I guess like Ryan with Dolly, Fishing World would be your favourite magazine. <laughs> so when you go to Noosa Heads next time, you can go fishing with your boyfriend. <laughs> Ryan, it's over to you. You're in control. Um, could I have trucking life? Gets a little bit harder here because...